All right, surviving a puppy, day two. It's feeding time, and I've been working already. He's a beagle, so he's uh, very food-driven and uh, very excitable about his food. So I've already been trying to get him to calm down and take his food patiently. So let's see how we work here. There he is. Let's go for it. Bodie, Bowie, and I keep calling him Bodie instead of Bowie. Got to get that down. All right, Bowie. So we're going to wait patiently, even though we want to eat. Yes, good boy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. So, I mean, he got that. He got that pretty quick. It took us basically two or three feedings, and and he was super excited the first day or so. But then he started to learn exactly the way to get his meal real quickly. Is just to be patient, give me a little eye contact, and go. And he's hitting the bowl so much uh, in a better state of mind, um, eating much more calmly and just getting great, great manners. So uh, it's pretty cool. So I'm gonna take you down and bring you down here because the lighting is not so good. I just wanted you to be able to get a good view of that. So I hope that makes sense there. Um, let me move down here. Hold on a second. Give me a minute here and I'll give you the update on what's going on. I've had, some, I've had a tough day actually. Um, let me come down here. All right, all right, so. So the little guy here, um, we were doing so great with house training the first day. I got a little cocky, I guess, um, and I thought, you know, we were on it. We had no accidents. The Joan, the awesome foster, had him before me. No accidents. I'm like, I got this, no problem. Today, three accidents in the house. Come on, I'm a dog trainer, right? All right. Well, I learned from every one. So the first problem, the first mistake I made, and it was me. Absolutely, <clears throat> the first two were my fault. The first time I broke one of my cardinal rules, which is whenever he's in the crate, as soon as you take him out, he goes right outside. Seems obvious, right? Everybody knows that. Uh, and for some reason I thought, you know what, it hasn't been enough time, I can, I, I got time to kill, don't worry about it. Instead of going with the system, it works, okay? So I, I let him have some freedoms and sure enough, he peed on the floor. And I stopped him. And I thought he kind of went though. I thought he was kind of done. Broke my second rule. So if you catch him in the act, you go, eh, you pick him up, and then you bring him right outside. Odds are he's already, you know, he's already gone, but if he finishes up, you praise him like crazy. So I thought, you know what, he already went. There's no reason to take him out. He went again. That time I said, wait. I did the same thing. No, 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 no. I picked him up. I got him pretty quickly. And I said, you know, he must be out now. I'm like, wait, I'm not going to assume that. So I brought him outside immediately. Guess what? He went again. I threw a party for him. All right. So I learned some big lessons there. Two accidents in a row, ruining my streak. So I learned that you got to stick to the system. Whenever he comes out of the crate, no matter how long the time it was, he goes outside immediately. Because this guy gets it. He, he did his part. He knows how to do it. Um, it was me that was the problem. <clears throat> so uh, I learned a little bit there. Um, the other thing I did, so the third accident happened very, uh, it was very strange, not very explainable because he had just gone out. And then after thinking about it, um, talking it over with my wife, I figured out what the problem is. Today we switched him to raw food. I switched him to an all raw diet. He is now on nature's variety. Uh, I put him on the lamb formula. He's had diarrhea since I had him. Tried a couple different things. I was giving him chicken and rice. Nothing was really helping. He was still having really, really loose poop. So I decided I wanted to switch him to raw anyway. Wasn't sure, you know, sometimes, you know, it's not, should you do a cold turkey? Should you do a transition? I figured he's got total diarrhea right now. I'm just going to go hardcore, switch him right to the raw, which, by the way, he loves, 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 loves. So I switch him right to the raw today. What I... You know, now realizing, you know, which of course I know, but didn't really think about until doing it, is it throws my house training plan all off. Because typically what I was doing before when I was doing so good is I, I didn't have water down all the time. He was only getting water at meals. So I knew exactly when he was drinking and he went out like clockwork. Now with the raw diet, he, get, I don't, he gets so much moisture in his, in his food that I find now that it's lingering longer so it's harder for me to predict when he's going to have to go. And he's actually peeing twice as much today 
as he did yesterday when he wasn't on the raw food. So this is what's killing me a little bit, is getting adjusted to that schedule. So I was actually trying to push it a little bit. We were doing so good, I was trying to push the time that he would actually, uh, you know, between times he would go out. Now I have to take a step back. You know, and that's the thing with house training. You gotta adjust and adapt. So now I'm taking a step back and I'm gonna take him out every two hours like clockwork, maybe even more. And the last time he had an accident today, uh, he, he went to the door and I didn't recognize that, you know what, he was saying, <laughs> I gotta go, I gotta get out there. And then he was sniffing around a little bit. Now I realize in hindsight that I should have seen that that was a sign that, uh, you know what, hey, you're chewing on my shirt, that's why you're so quiet. Uh, that there was a sign that maybe uh, there's trouble afoot, all right? But, all right, so I had three accidents, a little bummed out, but uh, I think I've learned from those three, and I'm going to try to get back there tomorrow to uh, do a little bit better. Tomorrow's a big day, and, and the thing is, this is exhausting, you know? Having a puppy, if you don't know, is exhausting stuff. I've done nothing but him, you know? I squeezed out one quick appointment for like an hour today, other than that, I've done nothing. If you've emailed me, I apologize. I usually get back within 12, 12 hours or so. I haven't gotten emails from a day or two ago. So it, it's tough for me to keep up because I'm really trying to prioritize him because I know uh, this is so time sensitive. You know, this is my time is ticking away. I got to do this stuff now. So I got a full day plan with him tomorrow. Uh, I'm just going to be all Bowie uh, tomorrow. So first thing in the morning, his first play date. All right. I've noticed he's a little sensitive, uh, a little, little shy, a little uncomfortable when he sees another dog. He's not sure what to do. He's a little anxious. So before I send him to daycare, I want him to meet a couple of buddies. So tomorrow, I have uh, he's going to meet a, um, I think like a <clears throat> three or four year old dachshund, and we're going to have a little play date here in our house. And then he's actually going to the vet um, for the first time that I've had him. I just want to get him quick once over, introduce him to the vet, see the environment. Um, just get like a baseline for him and then um, and then we're going to try to do some more kind of socialization. I'm going to try to take him out. He's doing great. I live on a very busy street. Uh, this morning we went out, did some socialization with garbage trucks because it was garbage day here. So I took him across the street. Garbage truck was coming. little, you know, concerned about the noise, but then was just curious with it. So I could see it going in the right direction. And he used to be a little inhibited on my street, you know, in the first day he was, it would stop when he, when he heard like a car go by or like a loud truck, because it's pretty loud here. Now, he's not really noticing it. He's actually walking a lot more, you know, he would stop, start, stop, start. Now, he, he'll cruise and we've gone for our longest walks on our block here. And I can just see he's getting more comfortable. And this is why socialization is so important. I have to do this stuff because now he's got a lot of bounce back. He's going to come back from this stuff quicker. The longer I wait, the harder this becomes. So that's why it's so urgent for me, and I'm clearing my schedule to do this for this little guy, because I want him to be awesome, you know, and it's up to me. It's not up to him, it's up to me. So i got to do my part. So I have another play date scheduled for another one of my awesome clients. It's going to help me out on Friday, a Puggle, who's a super chill, really great dog, and he's going to do some socialization as well. I'm going to try to maybe squeeze in a couple more. I'm also... Um, dog sitting for a six month old English Bulldog might be a little much for him so we're gonna see how they do it's gonna be a lot of management I when I decide when I agreed to, to dog sit for this uh, dog um, what do you got here what do you got um, I uh, I didn't know I was gonna have a puppy so uh, I really wasn't prepared for two dogs but we're gonna make it work it's gonna be okay dog is awesome you know just a cute little fun loving butterball uh, so I'll have two of them and I'll shoot some videos and show you how we're doing. <laughs> I'm juggling the two of them. Uh, I'm exhausted now, so I can't imagine what it's gonna be like then. Uh, and because of this raw food, I'm anticipating uh, a night not quite as easy as uh, last night. He's been great in the crate. Still, he's awesome in the crate, actually. Not a peep, don't bite my clothes. <laughs> not a peep out of him. He's in there, day or night, he goes in there, not a sound, not one sound. And he's very comfortable in there and tells me we're doing a good job with the crate, making it a fun place. And, um, you know, he's, he's just a good dog. So that's my update on day two. Um, so a little setback with house training, but we made some progress there with uh, other ways. So now um, I'm going to get him out again and because he's moving around. So let's, uh, I don't want any more accidents today. So thank you guys for checking in with me and Bowie. Say hello. Yes. Who is that?
that's you. Yes. Um, we're going to go out and, ah, that's my ear. We're going to go out and we're going to uh, see if I can get him to do a little sprinkle outside. And then I got to run to meet one of my buddies for dinner. I'm going to try to decompress, have a drink, relax. And then I'm back to him when I come back. All right, guys. Thanks so much. Me and Bowie signing out. We'll probably see you tomorrow. I'll give you the update on how the play date went. Take care, guys.